Hello, today's standard is LS2-3. We are developing a model to describe the cycling of matter and flow of energy among living and non-living things of an ecosystem. And today's learning objective is you will learn about the nitrogen cycle and its importance in ecosystems. So, <clears throat> let's start by talking about um, why the nitrogen cycle is important. Well, of course all living things need this thing called nitrogen. But for our purposes, we're going to be doing a project with fish very soon. And one of the concerns that you're going to have is when a fish um, pees and poos or has waste products, if you don't have certain um, other components in the tank, the fish pee and poo can turn into something called ammonia, which is really toxic to most fishes and can kill the fish. So we need to learn more about the nitrogen cycle so that we know how to avoid ammonia buildup in our tanks. <clears throat> so here's the nitrogen cycle. And this kind of summarizes what happens in a tank with the nitrogen cycle and how the waste products actually get broken down and get recycled the, the nitrogen gets recycled. So basically what happens is when fish eat food, they poo, and when they poo, that poo turns into ammonia, which is toxic or poisonous to the fish. So what happens, there's um, bacteria that break down the ammonia into something called nitrite. And then another type of bacteria will break down that nitrite into something called nitrate. And that nitrate gets absorbed by plants, and then the cycle continues. <clears throat> so let's, let's talk more about what nitrogen is first, though. That was just an overview. So nitrogen is an element. <clears throat> um, it's an element that is really important to all living things because um, it makes up things like DNA, RNA, and proteins, the building blocks of life. <clears throat> so all living things need nitrogen to live and grow. Our atmosphere is also made out of nitrogen. 78% um, of the atmosphere is actually nitrogen, so it's quite a lot. The nitrogen cycle is a natural cycle that allows nitrogen to cycle through the ecosystem. So we see nitrogen in the atmosphere, <clears throat> there's nitrogen in plants and animals, and of course there's nitrogen in the soil and in decaying matter. This is a more complex version of the nitrogen cycle. We're actually going to be learning about the more complex version because we're going to be learning about the different forms that nitrogen can take and the role bacteria plays in the nitrogen cycle. As you can see in this diagram, there's a lot of different kinds of bacteria that break down um, different types of nitrogen into different forms, and it's going to be really important to know. So can't we just get the nitrogen by breathing? Because look, so much of our atmosphere is nitrogen, right? It takes up way more um, space and oxygen, which we all know we need to live. Um, well, unfortunately, we can't just breathe in oxygen, nitrogen. Um, and the reason is the way nitrogen is in oxygen is in a form that our cells can't use. So we need the help of bacteria and plants to help us get the nitrogen that we need in our cells. So let's talk about how exactly nitrogen gets from the atmosphere into living things. There's two steps that nitrogen takes. The first step is called nitrogen fixation. So there's only certain kinds of living things that can take nitrogen from the air, the atmosphere, and um, change it into a different form so that other living things can use. So um, the nitrogen in our atmosphere is N2, or atmospheric nitrogen, and ammonia and ammonium is a different type of nitrogen, and bacteria and algae, which are two types of um, living things. Algae is in water and bacteria is in usually in roots of plants. Those are two living things that are able to take nitrogen out of the air and make it into a different type of nitrogen called ammonium and ammonia. Right here. Um, another way that um, atmospheric nitrogen can turn into ammonia and ammonium is through lightning. Lightning provides a flash of energy that can change the nitrogen in the air into a different form like ammonia and ammonium. And when it rains, that goes back down into the ecosystem to be used by other organisms. So in the whole nitrogen cycle, nitrogen fixation is the first half. And you can see this part is highlighted. So that's step one. Step two is called nitrification. So once um, the nitrogen in the atmosphere right here gets turned into ammonia and ammonium, 
what happens is more bacteria in the ground start breaking down even further because this ammonia is still not able to be used by plants. So we need the help of even more bacteria to break it down even further. So there is one type of bacteria that will break it up into nitrite, which is NO2. And then there's another bacteria that will transform it into nitrate, which is another form of nitrogen. And nitrate is the form that plants are able to absorb. So nitrogen has to go through all of this to be finally absorbed by plants, okay? Because plants can't breathe, breathe in nitrogen. The only way that they can get it is through their roots. So what happens to nitrogen after it gets absorbed by plants? Well, once plants absorb them, other organisms like animals can get nitrogen by eating the plant or by eating other animals that eat plants, okay? And that's how we get our nitrogen, is we eat plant material, and that helps us with our nitrogen needs for our DNA and for protein, which is um, what our body is made out of. Let's complete the cycle. So we talked about how nitrogen goes from the air through the soil and through different bacteria and how it gets back into the plant, but we didn't really talk about how nitrogen goes back into the air. So let's talk about that now. Um, nitrogen goes back into the atmosphere by bacteria, a different type of bacteria, that will transform the nitrite and the nitrates back into regular nitrogen or atmospheric nitrogen back into the air. So as you can see, the nitrogen cycle relies heavily on different types of bacteria that live in the soil or in the water. Okay. And this process where nitrogen goes back into the air is called denitrification. Okay, um, so let's talk about the role of decomposers. So if you see in this diagram, you see there's decomposers right in the middle. Decomposers are actually a big part of um, the nitrogen cycle too because as you know, decomposers will, will break down dead plants and animals um, into carbon as we learned in the carbon cycle, but they also break it down into different nitrogen. They produce ammonia and ammonium too. So remember that those are um, things that these bacteria will break down into nitrites and nitrates. So uh, decomposers are important to the nitrogen cycle. Finally, let's talk about how humans have kind of impacted this nitrogen cycle. So the first big way that humans have impacted the nitrogen cycle is the use of fertilizers. So fertilizers are um, compounds or chemicals that humans have used for farming. Um, basically, they put fertilizer in soil to make the soil richer and to give the plants more nutrients so they'll be healthier. Um, because as you, as you can see, remember that nitrates are absorbed by plant roots and they're very important, right? So the problem is when um, there's too much fertilizer or some of the fertilizer gets um, run, it becomes um, washed away by water. It becomes something called runoff. And some of it can damage aquatic ecosystems. So for example, when some nitrogen from fertilizer goes into nearby streams and the ocean, it causes what's called nutrient over enrichment. So there's algae that live in here, and when there's too much nitrogen, there's too many nutrients, and the algae tend to overpopulate. They'll use the nitrogen, and they'll reproduce like crazy, and produce way too much algae. And what that ha what that does is it'll kill the fish that lives in the water because it clouds the entire water, and it actually messes with the numbers, the population numbers in the aquatic ecosystem. So it's very damaging to certain aquatic ecosystems. Also, some forms of nitrogen could enter the atmosphere to become smog, such as nitric oxide um, and nitrous oxide, which is a greenhouse gas and traps heat, or it could also lead to acid rain, which are all damaging to the environment. So that's the nitrogen cycle in a nutshell. Um, this is a summary of the nitrogen cycle. Remember that bacteria play a really important role in the nitrogen cycle as well as um, the atmosphere 
and plants. So again, we need to know this nitrogen cycle so that when we make our bottle project, bottle ecosystem project, we have a better understanding of how nitrogen gets cycled in ecosystems, especially for the aquatic ecosystem that you see here. Um, it's going to be really important. Okay? Thanks.